Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play Ni Game of Six of Winds of Change. Before we start, and if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it on Steam. Anyways, on the last Let's Play, we started the game and have amnesia because we're seer and in a dream, probably, and the village was attacked in the dream, but um, they're planning the attack IRL. And now we're having a decision here, which is focus on lives, go with the grand tree, or focus on information, Milas. Well, lives are probably not important in this game. The reason I was kind of flip-flopping, well, in uh, the dream. The reason I was flip-flopping is, what happens if they're doing something very information-y, getty, needy here? But, um, you know, we need information, so do that. Ye I'm about to stop this attack, and I need information. Yeah, and would give us information. It, could, it would be Milas, hopefully. He'd be able to shed light on the rebellion's involvement too. Good, we're on the same page. We can use that information to help others. It would be selfish to focus only on Balanorth. You have a very happy face. I hope you two are certain about this. You're gambling with hundreds of lives. Like, what information are we going to get from, uh, the tree, anyways? Rook doesn't understand this like we did. And we're about to waste time lecturing him. I was grateful that his job required following us. He continued in the same direction, heading to, to Milas' house. It didn't feel good to abandon others, but we had to do it. This, this was real. I did this was real. I'd use the future to cheat the present. Oh, so there could also be people here too, you know? They said. In the present day, uh, Damek found himself lost in thought. Using the tunnels under Mazu for solitude, he found peace. There was much to plan, to plan, but for once, they had the upper hand. Hmm, Valinorth, the Blade of Exodus. There must be something the spirits aren't telling us. Something we could use to take down the Triumvirate. When I touched the blade, I saw our victory, but I'm not trained to interpret such things. I pray for the cooperation of Valinorth. One of his advisors approaches, careful not to startle him. When he realizes he's detected, he lets out a soft yawn. Another one of those sleepless nights, Damek? I can't blame you. It's been the same with me. Did I hear you say something about Valinorth? Yeah, I was uh, thinking out loud. In Valinorth, there's a person who can peer into the future. That's why I had Pro bring the blade there last week. I'm aware of their culture, but their seers use spirits, not a blade. Do you think it will be that easy? Worth a gamble, isn't it? It's not my place to wield knowledge of the future. But the Seers are experts, conditioned from birth. Pro has sent word that the current Seer is female. His investigation is progressing slower than I'd like. We need to pick up the pace, and fast. Now that they have the blade, they're a target. The Triumvirate is likely planning their attack as we speak. That's why I've decided to send an experienced fighter. Oh, yeah, right. I really need to re like think out loud while this is happening, you know. So these guys are not in contact with me, right? Also, why does me being female have anything to do with anything? I don't know. I guess that's me. I've had the mayor of Mazia write up a decree. It will allow you entry and the ability to complete what Pro started. On paper, and to everyone else, it's a simple export. Only Milas knows the importance of this blade. All you have to do is deliver it from Valinorth back to me. That is, with the Seeress at your side, Ulrich. You seem to think that will be easy. It's not likely they know the truth of Valinorth. I can bring the Seeress, but they'll just decline. Present yourself as a mercenary, not a rebel. Tell them a meeting of importance is happy in Mazio. 
We want their ability to help with some hmm, important decisions. Dishonesty. Great way to start a partnership. It worked for us, don't you remember? Look at how invaluable you've become. Yeah, look at my happy small face. Mark laughed and turned to look back at the dark depths of the tunnels. At the moment, everything ahead seemed bleak and uncertain. Having an eye like cast light on the future would be a tremendous boon. So this is it, isn't it? With the CRS at our side, they can direct us. We can secure the victory that you witnessed. I almost don't believe it, but it's true. Though I have to be honest with you, Ulrich. There's a reason why I'm sending you instead of asking Pro. And what's that? And who's Pro again? He may not be strong enough to face what's coming. It's not just a hunch that Valinorth will be attacked. In our victory, I saw its death and destruction. Hmm. I see. So I ask that you protect the CRS and her allies at all costs. And when you come across Pro, have him join you as well. I'll make sure to prepare an exquisite welcoming party. I'll leave first thing in the morning. What did you see exactly? Nothing you can't fight your way out of, but trust me, it will show them the truth. And when you get back, they'll be ready to fight. But promise yes. me one thing, and one thing only. That along the way, the CRS touches the blade. If she can wield it, then we have our greatest weapon. So I'm holding the Keyblade in the dream future thingy. I enter Mila's house and immediately spread out. After a few moments, it's evidence that nobody's here. Erg sighs, but Vanessa isn't ready to give up. I don't know what you expected. You think the Elder would just stay here? I assume he's at the Grand Tree as well. No, there has to be something here. It's not him, but his books as well. He must have some kind of record. Record of what exactly? Yeah. Ulrich, the Triumvirate is burning down Valinorth. They seem to think we're caught up with the rebels. Thinking the Elder is clueless? That's stupid. So he hunks over the large window and looks outside. We're relieved to see the flames haven't reached us yet. Looking through the paper, she whispers to herself. Come on, Milas, give us something. You're smarter than this, I know it. Shipping manifests anything. With a new determination, Ulrich examines the large table. He shovels papers aside and flips through the books. It's almost like he's in a rush to find something first. None of this is helping, Vanessa. It's everything you'd expect to find. Oh, there has to be something here. Come on, Cyrus. Give us a hand. Exploration tutorial. You can freely move the cursor around the screen. It will change to words when you hover above an interactive object. Clicking on these objects will interact with them. Don't like that time thing. Clicking the I click the icons on your comrades to initiate conversation with them. These icons will show you many books that are in the area and how many found. This icon will, when applicable, takes you to the world map. This icon opens the save menu. Click, click the icons of your kind of... Some locales are divided in multiple areas. Click these arrows to navigate between them. Okay. It is optional, but highly recommended that you talk with your comrades. Like now or just later. A few things looking at anything notes. It's so cluttered it's hard to find anything at all. Oak slams down the table, sorry. This is my spot. Find somewhere else to look, alright? We need to cover more ground if we want anything. Okay. Seems awfully defensive. I notice he keeps looking at the papers. Almost like he knew what he wanted to find. Okay, let's look over here. Look over Vanessa and stand beside her. Sorry at work, reading the papers and pushing the books aside. I've never seen someone quite so determined. Hey, have any luck yet? I'm just watching you. Oh, right, we're on a mission. Same. It's getting a bit discouraging. I'm thinking it would be something written. 
Have you checked all the tables and bookshelves? I yet. And I turned back to the rest of the room. I guess it should help out instead of watching them. She was certain we'd find something that I trust her. Hey, it's a ladder. Actually, it's a step ladder. I know we have time to argue like this. To avoid further conflict, I nod and move on. I'll go over the bookshelf and see what I can find. Seems awfully full of books about Spirit Realm and Valinorth. Somehow, I don't think either of these subjects will help. Eventually, I come across a book about the Rebellion. I doubt it's what we need, so I had to take a look. As I open up, a piece of paper falls out. Milas's note. Recently, the Rebel Alliance has reached out to me. At first, I pushed them away, thinking them little more than a rogue group of bandits. But they said they knew the truth about my father. How could they Ooh, know? That... In my Shit. situation, it was hard to resist temptation. I had to ask them exactly what they knew. The truth shocked me, hey, that didn't and I have yet to tell anybody. I might take it to my grave. It's not the truth I expected, but it did shake me to my core. My father was in the middle of an important task. As his son, I felt that it was my duty to help finish it. I have no hatred for the Triumvirate. This is simply a matter of familial ties. Were anybody posed with such a situation, I doubt their actions would differ from mine. It doesn't seem too difficult either. They've given me a blade and tasked me with protecting it. In the next little while, they will send an envoy to pick it up. At that point, I am to send someone special with them. I must keep their name secret so nobody finds out. This envoy, however, will be coming any day. I can't wait to meet him. I've been told that he knew my father, and he would have all manner of stories to tell. You okay? Uh... Ye... I mean... Y yeah, no, yes, but eventually? Throw on a table full of useless trinkets whenever I'm looking for a doubt. Hey, it here. isn't playtime. Get out from under there. Good, and don't let it happen again. We can't afford- Yes, yes. Get out of the Verbal lashing. You might have disagreed, but we had to search everywhere. Good. Actually- Okay. A map I've known in this, I've seen it many times. We're in Val North, it's north, Mezzo's to the north, east is of Mezzo is south something, and north is some other place. Four nations that make up the world. Each governed by a general of the Triumvirate. Except for Val North, which has remained non partisan. It's odd how I remember the basics, but little else. I wonder if the attack was an attempt to occupy Val North. After that, all four nations would be under their control. I think that's part of the desk. So if I click on these guys, does that do a thing? Hmm? Ooh, an achievement. Ooh, it's up there. I wish. This whole place is a mess. Honestly, I don't even know what to look for. Milas isn't stupid, though. He'd leave something. Honestly, only a few months. He was thrust into the position against his will. Something happened to his father, the previous elder. But he's done such a good job, it's crazy. The leadership of Valinor did not skip a beat. He must have been training under his father. Nobody knows, actually. He went on a trip to Mazio and never came back. Search parties came up with nothing. It's like he vanished. Normally we'd hold an election, but things were crazy. That and Valinorth is really big on family and tradition. Everyone just seemed to expect that Milas would take over. He's performed admirably for the position he's in. I doubt even a full election would find a better candidate. I was scared for a while, but he really filled the role. 
He didn't want to do it, but he kind of had to. It all happened so fast. I'm not sure of the specifics. But it was seamless. He almost couldn't notice. I agree, but I feel a bit sorry for him. You can see it in his eyes. It stresses him out. Maybe we can find someone more willing, you know? Okay, me, But we can I worry guess. about that after this is over. There's lots to do, and we can't even find him. I really hope that nothing bad has happened. Well, more bad. I would want to get to the bottom of it, then. There's more going on than we can take at face value. He'd have his reasons, and I'd want to hear all of them. Is there what's going on right now? I guess I should probably read these, too. Uh, anything he sees right now? So it's less accusatory. It's not actually happening. If he can explain himself and we can prevent this, well, then we can deal with it in a reasonable way. We can't condemn him on a vision like this. That's like hating someone for what they do in a dream. Besides, we have no way of confirming this is his fault. Okay. I'm sure making it's a, a pretty vision? educated guess. I'm trained to detect this kind of stuff, but it's so weird because this feels like reality. So dream you is trained. What's going to happen? As well as real you? I mean, technically, I'm not real, right? That's hard to take in. This feels real to me. But the way you're acting, yeah, it makes me certain. It's very rare that I become lucid in a vision, but with the evidence at hand, I'm very sure. Better not talk about it too loud, though. I don't want Ulrich to realize something is up. The rules state that only you and I can know. Huh. Trust me, it's better for him not to know. He'd act recklessly, and he'd be really confused. Well, more reckless than normal, I mean. These are gifts. Blessings, directly from the realm of spirits. We're not in any position to harm what they give us. As long as any other dream, I guess. Or maybe when the spirits decide you've seen enough. That's one of the things we don't really know. I guess something traumatic, like your death, would end it. Our minds aren't fit to comprehend what would happen next. We should make the most of the time we do have in here. Nobody knows, but we assume it's to protect us. If we know it's coming, we can change what happens. Seers have done it time and time again for thousands of years. A lot of people think they'll want something in exchange. That they're planting seeds to reap later down the line. <sighs> Stupid superstition, if you ask me. They just want to help. Yeah, to click that. Yeah, I agree. There's nothing more pure than the spirits. Without the visions, we'd have died out ages ago. This particular vision, no. But the concept of visions in general, yes. Without them, we'd have gone extinct long ago. They guide the world to a better future. And what's better, they ask for nothing in return. Only that we continue to harness this amazing power. Okay. Did we already click on that? Yeah, it's just like I said. For better or worse. I was trained to be your scribe from a young age. We've been inseparable ever since. It's not exactly what I grew up wanting. But I'm not in a position to shun Valinor's tradition. Besides, I can think of people much worse to serve. Actually, you're seeing them firsthand. <laughs> Imagine how confused you'd be without me. Mm. We're supposed to guide you through these visions. But when you wake up, you also need to report to me. Or, I guess you can Good report no. to Milas in these dire circumstances. Either way, I help you in here and you report out there. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't remember this. You'd wake up, shrug it off, and go about your day. Imagine what would happen to Valinor then. Of course not. We're two sides of the same coin. Honestly, One -sided I wouldn't coin. be able to do anything without you. A scribe would do little good without visions to inhabit. How weird is it that it's like, yeah, your job is to be in someone's dream. Yes and no. Actually, but not being someone's pretty technical. dream. I'm your only scribe, but there's also a scribe in training. His name is Fortin, and he's prepared to take over if needed. 
It's a recent addition to the ranks, but it helps out a lot. Without a scribe, your abilities would be pretty useless. Having someone fully trained means no one misses a beat. Imagine if you had this vision while I was gone. Just from that, I think you can gauge Fortum's importance. He's a nice guy too, but I'm sure he's long since fled. So you need to be... I guess she would need to be next to the person who's having the vision, but vision is firsthand. I'm sure you'll meet him when you get out of here. Okay. He tends to knock on your door first thing in the morning. So, let's focus on the matter at hand, alright? Since I was a little kid, actually. I was trained to be your scribe from the moment I could speak. It's a prestigious position, and I couldn't exactly say no. Some of the other children were jealous. Their parents too, which seemed really immature to me. Apparently, there's some competition for the role. But the elder chose me, and like it or not, here I am. I guess I'm just blessed that I actually do like this arrangement. In the end, the spirits really were looking down on me. Even if being here right now is terrifying, I'm still happy. Doing my duty to save Valinorth? It's a dream come true. We don't know if the other kids would have fit this role. Well, I guess the answer is both yes and no. Before my parents passed on, they took care of the paperwork. Until I came of age, I had no choice but to obey. When I did come of age, however, I got to choose. Leave Valinorth and pursue my own dreams, or be your scribe. <laughs> I guess it's pretty obvious which one I chose, huh? So, while I was forced I need to read these the role, things here. I chose to stick with it. Although, if this is any indication, we might have to leave Valinorth. In that case, I get to be your scribe and travel the world. Uh... I mean, because it might be burnt down, which is self-explanatory. Eh, glad to have you by my side. Yeah, and same to you. Look at this vision. We're going to do great things. Yeah! Let's get to the bottom of this, and save our village together. Hopefully. Okay, so talk to Angry Wolf Guy. Hmm. Hmm. No, there's not much here. Not anything useful. If we spread out, we stand a better chance. Not that there's too much ground to cover. What should I look for? If I knew, we'd have found it already. Valessa seems to think Milas left something behind, but he isn't dumb. He wouldn't leave stuff out in the open. If it were up to me, we'd all be long gone. I can't fight your choice, though. It's your village. Let's do our best to hurry and get out of here. Where'd you come from? Huh? You mean today or in general? <laughs> oh, during the attack. I'm a mercenary from Mazeo. It is interesting that he seems to want to there. talk. A summit is happening and they want your input. Time more amazing. Basically the hub of Alestia. Ports from there go to the rest of the known world. A huge city of commerce. It's full of strange people. But you'd get stabbed in the back before you find help. That's what puts people like me in business. Protectors of the weak. Well, not that I'm calling you weak, but you get the idea. Is there a battle system? Kind of summit is this? Because of its central location, it's the perfect meeting spot. The generals from Alarinthia and Baltia sail over annually. And Valinorth is non-partisan, so you usually sit this one out. Maybe it's a chance to get Valinorth more invested in Alestian politics. But they want your input and I've been sent to pick you up. I guess it's a good thing I got here when I did, right? You my input or my power? Look, I don't ask for specifics. I do this to get paid and make a living. If you want, feel free to ask them when we get there. And that is, if you two even agree to follow me. But right now, I can't let you die on my watch. We will discuss the rest once we're out of harm's way. Timing was awfully convenient. Is that an accusation of some kind? Where I come from, you don't accuse the guy with the bigger sword. I'll pretend I didn't hear that and carry on with his search. Okay. I have any theories about all this? Well, yeah, if the Triumvirate is truly responsible. Alestia is divided into four nations. Should probably not click on all the things. Elenorth, Mazeo, Alarinthia, and Baltius. Each nation has a general that serves the Triumvirate. They rule in their stead and make sure everything runs smoothly. Except, you guessed it, the Elder or General of Valinorth. No one really knows why you remained untouched for so long. But the theory is that they don't want to anger the spirits. 
you know, because of all that spiritual energy residing here. So I'm thinking this is a power play. Take the Fourth Nation and control the whole world. They did the same thing to Mazeo about 20 years ago. Can't the same wait, thing what? that's happening here, but with less fire. They occupied the free town and placed a general in charge. They used terrible force, but the town improved because of it. I'll never agree with their methods, but Mazeo is peaceful. Yes. If they're burning villages down now, though, unforgivable. Perhaps the rebellion isn't in the wrong after all. It's not like anything. Yeah, it's it's on our culture. So in tune with the spirits, you let them govern you. The rest of Alestia has history in their own hands. Not that it's a bad thing, of course. It's just different from the rest of the world. From what I've seen, the spirits have a good grasp on things. Yeah, so it doesn't care for spirits. Well, you're in the middle of a forest up here. You know what they say about nature and spiritual energy. The rest of the world has been deforested and settled differently. Yeah. It's not that they don't care for spirits. Actually, it's more like they don't know anything else. They've lived their entire lives in areas devoid of spiritual energy. But Valinorth is so peaceful while the rest of the world isn't. It might very well be the influence of the spirit realm. They don't have trees in other places? Going here. I can't stand what's happening. Okay, exit. We talk to both of them. Look at the book again. Click, click, click. Is yes, yes. Sit. This is what we needed. I call over Ulrich in Valencia, showing them what I found. Ulrich seems to tense up and, ev and even a bit anxious. So Milas was working with the rebellion. Apparently, he was sheltering a blade. Could that be why they attacked us? Doing all this for a blade? Let's be realistic, Valesa. It must have been very important. I'm assuming Milas took it with him. I don't see any blades lying around here. But about this envoy he mentioned, and this supposed special person. Ulrich, why did you lie to us? It's true. Anybody would have figured it out by now. He seems to admit defeat and closes his eyes. Almost like he didn't want to see, to see us as he spoke. We didn't think you'd come if you knew. I tried to hide it, but I guess there's no point anymore. After seeing this attack, I need to request your help. This is far from the first village they'll raise. They're up to something much bigger. That's why you wanted to come here, right? Yeah, you're right. There's little time to argue and nowhere else to go. It looks like you got what you needed, Ulrich. Let's head back to the Grand Train. There might still be time. Hopefully. We all nod, acknowledging the unspoken truth. Ulrich didn't care about those in the Grand Tree, even though he said that we should get to the Grand Tree. He only knew that coming here would blow his cover. But I knew that, to, that this information would be a huge advantage. We had probable cause for their attack and knew Milas' secret. We headed back to the town square and stilled with hope. Time. Jesus! I was like, oh, what are we gonna have? 15, maybe 20 minutes? Nope, 28 minutes. Flames have spread, but not too bad. Oh, I guess we might just call it since it's a new scene and we pretty much only have time for me to say cheerio, buckaroo. So that's gonna be the end of this, let's play. <sighs> Even though I don't mean as much, I still yawn sometimes. So, please comment, cause like, comment, assume you like, dislike, tips, or so always. If you like my YouTube and like, see you grown, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos too. Have a grown, please remember to pay new animals. To help control the pit population. And until next time. Oh no, let's play. Me, you move six. No, wait, they aren't with me for you now. Hm. Oh, I see. That's why it was empty there. Of Winds of Change. A game. A sword and fluffy people, which you date, but I don't think in a horny way, because it didn't say it was like 18 plus or something. Right? Oh, on the thing it said Season of Pride 2020. It's kind of funny because it was like upcoming, which listable, trans, 
Uh, people of color lead. What is that thing? Oh god, that is claymation spooky looking. Um, but the thing I found funny, be gay, do crimes. <laughs> funny. Anyways, I'm back to that game. Nope. Nope. Get in there. There you go. It's like visual novel, story, Shelby two, romance, etc., etc. But doesn't seem to have any sort of horny content. Interesting. Yeah, well, that's fine. It's not like I have to see horny content. It makes editing easier, at least. Well, whatever. And until next time, oh, let's play me game six of Winds of Change. See ya.